Hi, my name is Tamir Luvne and I am a Product Success Architect at ServiceNow. Today we'll review ServiceNow's Discovery Enhanced Application Dependency Mapping feature, also known as ADME, and see a demo of this capability in action. Just a notice that ServiceNow is not liable for any future changes to the content of this video. In some cases, applications create short-lived connections to certain targets, such as databases or other applications, which may not be discovered by the standard ADM probe due to their infrequent nature. Those connections may prove critical in some cases to understanding the application flow, and ServiceNow has created an enhanced version of the ADM probe to deal with such cases. When does that help? When relying on the accuracy of connections in the CMDB, especially when working with service mapping, it is critical that we find all outgoing connections from our various app components. ADME assists in uncovering short-lived traffic-based connections that fail to get discovered using pattern-based top-down discovery due to various reasons. How does it work? After turning on ADME, Discovery will install and launch a script on the host which collects and aggregates connection data over several hours. Once Discovery runs on that host during the following schedule, it will retrieve the collected data from the host and update the TCP connection table on the instance with the newly discovered connections. To turn on ADME, you should configure these system properties to true. The second should be set to true for standard ADM as well and is on by default. You can also tweak the behavior of the ADM probe according to the properties in this table, which you can find in the product documentation. Now let's have a quick look at the demo of this feature. All right, so for the purpose of this demo, I created a small Tomcat app that has two connections to two different MySQL servers. One is a persistent connection to a local MySQL server that we can see right here. This is a database on the same machine. And I have another connection that is not defined properly on Tomcat and in the code it creates an intermittent connection to another database every five seconds for one second and our normal standard uh, discovery does not find that connection because it rarely appears we can take a look <clears throat> uh, here I'm watching the outgoing connections on that machine and we can see that every once in a while this is in a one second refresh every once in a while we can see that connection coming up but the chances that our normal standard ADM probe will pick up this connection is very slim and we need something else to be able to capture this connection and that other something would be our ADM probe that will continuously collect information about running processes and connections being performed from this machine or listening on that machine and will hopefully after a while capture this short-lived connection. So in order to turn ADME on I need to change this system property glide discovery enable ADME to true and then I need to run another discovery on that particular machine. What will happen in that initial uh, discovery after we turned on ADME is that discovery will install a um, script on that target machine that will continuously look for any connections on that machine over a period of uh, several hours and it's bound to hit those short lived connections as well. So the first time we run discovery it will just install that script and initialize it but 
probably will not come back with any uh, data because it's just starting uh, to collect it. And then once discovery runs again, uh, a few hours later, then it will aggregate all the new connections that it found and it will send them over back to the instance where hopefully it will populate our list. So you can see that after my initial run, um, nothing has changed in my outgoing connections. And now I'm going to let it work for between 5 and 10 minutes and I'll come back again, run another quick discovery and see if that changed. Alright, so I let the process and connection script run for a while and now I'm going to go back to my discovery uh, and run another quick discovery on my uh, host. Right now I still don't have that additional connection and hopefully by now the script has collected that additional intermittent co uh, connection and we should see it coming up after it runs our ADME probe. So you see here it's launching the enhanced ADM probe and it processed it and our discovery is complete. If I go back to my TCP connections I can now see that it found my short-lived connection here to my second remote MySQL server. And if I run my discovery again on my service, my service mapping uh, discovery or top-down discovery, then I should see this connection suggested in the connection suggestion list. It's done discovering. Now let's see if from our app we can find the new connection. And here it is. Our new connection was suggested to us. Let's add it to the map, which will initiate another discovery. And here we are with another connection. Now, what that means is that this tool, ADME, helped us in finding and locating this uh, additional connection that was not visible before. So once we found our missing connection, we should probably go back to our app owner and tell them that this is an intermittent connection that was discovered by traffic-based discovery um, and that it does not comply with uh, standards of um, deployment for an application um, since we should be able to pick up the connections by running the uh, discovery patterns and we do want to strive to get some kind of standardization on deployment in our environment so that we can easily analyze and troubleshoot our applications. To summarize, ADME can be a useful and powerful tool for investigating and improving your discovery and connection related services such as service mapping which rely on the accuracy of connections in the CMDB. Hope this video was useful and feel free to contact me if you have any further questions. Thank you for watching and see you on the next Ranger series video.